quick video on how this PWM controller works. Bit of a review. So this one goes up off to the solar panel. It's coming in at 17 volts at 0.2 amps. It's um, middle of winter here. Sun's out, but it's uh, it's pretty low and the panel's in the shade. It will go up to about 22, 23 volts. And I haven't really seen much more current than about 0.5 amps coming in, but I've never really had the battery low. So and this is the output from the PWM controller. And the output is almost always whatever is coming into this controller. So if it's 14 volts, it seems to down size the voltage down to 14.4 volts from the solar panel and shoots that across out to here at pretty much the same. When the solar panel's got no power, it drops down to the, whatever the battery voltage is. So whatever basically comes into the, the controller goes out to the outputs. And so if we put a bit of load on, I've got my fuse box here and I'll put a, the spotlight on. So it's now drawing nearly two amps. And now you see that the current coming in from the solar panel has gone up a bit. Just because there's a bit of draw on the load now. And again, the voltage on the solar panel has gone down to 13.4 volts. And that's what's coming into here now. And that, again, shoots across here at the same amount. Yeah. And you've got the, the USB port out here, which charges the phone quite well. But I've got a little Bose speaker that it doesn't charge. So I'd say they're only about half an amp output on those USBs. So I'm going to have to get another USB charging unit just that you can use a bit more amperage out of. So if you have a look at the settings now, 13.7 volts and it'll stop charging the battery. 12.6 volts is what it should be going out at. But as you can see, it just goes straight through as whatever's coming in. It'll turn off the output and not run the battery any lower than 10.7 volts. And battery type 61, which I assume is lead acid. That's the PWM controller. Basic one that came with the solar panel from eBay. So it does the job, it's, you know, 17 bucks worth, so you get what you pay for, I guess, but um, it certainly charges the battery. It's a mono system, so it's only the one panel, and there's just a 12 volt car battery lead acid under the floor of the shed, which basically I'm using at the moment just to run a few lights. Um, does the job with its little simple system.